From Franco Zeffirelli, the acclaimed director of Romeo and Juliet, Mel Gibson, Glenn Close, Alan Bates, Paul Schofield, Ian Holm, Helena Bonham Carter, in Hamlet, the story of a king's death. Hello, I'm Ted Baer, publisher of MovieGuide.org. And I'm Evie Carroll, his daughter, and this is your family guide to movies and entertainment. Now, we're bringing it back to the classic, a very classic, Hamlet. There's a version you love. Can you tell us about it? Well, there are many versions of Hamlet, but this version is Mel Gibson's version that he did with Zeffirelli. And actually, it's a beautiful version of Hamlet. It's very clear, it's very powerful, it's very concise. Now, of course, Hamlet is a very powerful story. It's about a man who is visited by, he thinks, a ghost of his father, who tells him that he was killed by his brother, who took over his kingship and married his wife. But anyway, Hamlet is not the type of person to take revenge. He's a studious person, he's a good person, and suddenly he loses his mirth, and he now has the responsibility to avenge his father. And he didn't read the passage in the Bible where he says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Shakespeare used 25,000 words. The average American uses four to 800 words. So the command that Shakespeare has of the language, his grammar, his articulation, his iambic pentameter, all of that is extraordinary. And it's worth watching because they've taken it and put it into sort of a more easy to understand modern complex uh, play, which is actually wonderful, but they haven't dumbed it down. It's a tragic play, so be cautious for younger children, but it's a powerful story, and no one's done it better than Mel Gibson did with his version of Hamlet in 1990. Take a look at the full review at movieguide.org. Now, a man must choose whether to forgive or to avenge, to love to hate, to live, to die, to be, or not to be. Hamlet, the extraordinary telling of a classic tale.